In this video, we'll continue the example of a harmonic oscillator in a constant electrostatic field. And we'll look at the first order correction to the state N0 as a result of this electric field. So our formula for the first order correction to the state was given by this, where this delta HKN, which we'll start calling a matrix element, is uh, given by this bracket. So uh, the state K naught uh, with the perturbation Hamiltonian and the state N naught. And this was in general, uh, the correction generally is a contribution from every other state K except for uh, the state N. So we'll start by calculating this quantity for the harmonic oscillator. So the, uh, the perturbation in terms of the creation and annihilation operators was given by this. So plugging this into this expression We get so we only leave the operators inside, and we have all of the constants out here. And this is minus this one. Should also be a minus. Uh, again, we can break this up into each operator. Okay, so this first one over here comes from uh, this part. And the second term comes from the annihilation operator. So by the usual rules of uh, these operators, we end up with the following expressions. So the creation operator promotes this energy level to n naught plus one. And the annihilation operator over here demotes this energy level to n naught minus one. Now, because in our sum, we have to consider every state except for the state uh, n or n naught in this case. We can't just rule out this as being zero by orthogonality because you could have uh, k being equal to n plus one or k being equal to n minus one. So to take that into account, we'll write this in terms of the Kronecker delta. This is k m plus one, this was k n minus one. Okay, so this is zero unless k is equal to m plus one, and this is zero unless k is equal to n minus one. So now that we have an expression for our matrix element delta h k n, we can plug it back into our expression for the first order correction to the state. This is we can take out the constants. Uh, so you should be considering this expression. We're going to break up the sum over the two terms that we have. Uh, this one 
and this one. So this is coming from this term over here. And remember the sum is over all k's not equal to n. And then the second term over here is coming from this contribution. Uh, where again, the sum is over all k not equal to n. The Kronecker delta will collapse each sum to a single term because it kills every term except when k is equal to one plus one here. And it kills every term in this sum except when k is equal to n minus one. And there should be, uh, yeah, there's also a state K not here and a state K not over here. So this one uh, makes this term K not equal to N not plus one. That's the only term that survives. This one is the difference of energies between the n plus one state and the n state. This Kronecker delta transforms this state into, uh, it collapses everything into a single state and not minus one, when k is equal to n not minus one. And then this becomes the difference between the energy of state n minus one and state n. The last piece of information we need is that the energy of a quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator is in general given by this expression. So every uh, level has uh, the same discrepancy in energy. It's always h bar omega naught. And it goes up by that same quantity. The ground state in particular has uh, non-zero energy. So plugging this expression into each one of these denominators and simplifying, this should be first order correction. All right, so this is our final expression for the first order correction to the state. You'll notice that whereas in general, uh, we get contributions from every state except n not. In this one, we only get contributions from the state immediately above n and immediately below n. So this is the final expression. And finally, in the last video, or in the next video, we'll uh, calculate the second order correction to the energy of this harmonic oscillator.